Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, November 18, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. We have a new service over at Patreon where you can sign up for our new uh, live trades and courses on Fridays and Mondays. And you'll also get our signal service and full technical analysis and that package as well. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And as you can see, we are trading at a highs here of 14.32 and we are trading at a lows of around 12.96. At this point, we are we're heading towards the, uh, the highs here. And we basically need to break these highs in order to go to the very highs here. I think there were, there's going to be quite a lot of uh, resistance here. And the main reason is that we are overbought at this point. We are at 74. And then most of these technical indicators are showing signs of exhaustion and are most likely going to turn around like the Stochastic and the MACD and also the CCI. And we're also basically at the top of the bullish band. So expect a pullback here when we get closer to this uh, resistance area. If we get close to this resistance, it get there at all. We'll fall towards the 20 exponential moving average, which is at 1313 at this point, and probably all the way down to the 50 moving average, which is just, just above these very lows. So if you look at the US dollar yen, we can see we continue our fall towards the downside, which has been expected for a very long time. But at this point, I think that we're gonna have a pullback. And the reason why I say that is because you can see the CCI not the RSI, the stochastic, sorry, is about to turn around. And when that happens, we usually have a little bit of pullback towards the 20 exponential moving average, or we just continue this decline towards this lower trend line. So we have been in this channel for several months, all the way back to uh, March. And this is basically a downward uh, trend line. And we have a top, we have a, we have a bottom, and we'll be just... Uh, zigzagging around this um, uh, this channel so at this point we are heading toward these lows uh, technical leaders for this mar for this currency pair are very negative so so even though we have a little bit of pullback that is not a sign that you buy that is a sign that you technically can sell to the downside so euro us dollar we rallied quite significantly found resistance here which was the previous uh, highs here which is at the 18, uh, no, 11, uh, 89. And at this point, we will most likely go towards these, um, this mid range here, just above the 50 moving average. If that breaks, we go all the way down here to 1164. The reason why I say this is because the stochastic is turning around. We have found major support around there. And when this turns around, the, these indicators will also turn around. We are also significantly overbought, so this is a sign that we are most likely are going to go lower for tomorrow's session. So if you look at the Aussie dollar, US dollar, we found a double top here. We are now heading towards the 20 exponential moving average here around 0 0.7072. And um, if that breaks, we are probably going all the way down towards these very lows. At, at the 150 moving average. Uh, technical indicators for this market are looking very dreadful. We are significantly overbought. We are 79 at this point. So this is a market that will go lower. Um, I do not see a scenario where we can basically break uh, this resistance area when we are this significantly overbought. So we have rallied all the way down here to these highs. And that's around 4.7% uh, in three weeks. And that is quite substantial for, for, you know, for this currency pair. So at this point, we are most likely going to go lower. So we have the US dollar CAT. We rallied up towards the 50 moving average. But this is a short-term rally, to be very honest. We could go towards a 40 exponential moving average, but that is uh, stretching it. I think that is just a matter of time before we go and test these uh, these lows again. And if that breaks, then we are going to go and chase this previous trend line. Um, technical indicators for this are looking fairly positive at this point. We are oversold a little bit, 
But if you look at the stochastic, it is very bullish, um, and the, the MACD and the CCI are technically flat at this point. But this indicator, RSI, and the stochastic, those are indicating that we are probably going to rally a little bit before we are going lower. So hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to subscribe by hitting the subscribe button down in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to go over to Patreon to see our new package where you can um, trade with us live on Fridays and Mondays and also take our courses there. And you'll also get a signal service as part of that package. So good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.